Welcome viewer this day to In Search for Wellness and I welcome you this day as I desire to prepare a special dish and this particular dish was a special uh, specially uh, made uh, traditionally by the Agekoyos we learned it from our grandmothers my mother used to make it for us our grandmothers used to make it for us it is based mainly on the on the mixture of maize and beans the mixture of maize and beans it has a special name called githeri and it is going to be cooked together with a mixture of traditional greens traditional greens like this is terere or amaranth leaves and traditional greens called stinging nettle and thavai. Stinging nettle, otherwise known as thavai in the, with the agikoyo, is a traditional green that was, has been used for years by the agikoyos to make their, their mashed food, otherwise called ilio. It's very a mixture of maize and beans among the agikoyos is called githeri and it is a traditional food for the agikoyos the people who live in the central province of kenya uh, githeri is a traditional food it is you are not miss githeri in any agikoyo family and it is used in various ways it is the maize and beans are boiled together you can either uh, boil them in the pressure cooker or you can use an agekoyo pot or a normal sufria or a normal uh, steel pot and boil the beans together. However, it used to always taste better when it, when it is cooked in the agekoyo uh, uh, traditional cooking pot. This particular one that we are going to use is green maize that have been boiled together with pigeon peas. Um, these are pigeon peas and when the two maize and, and, and legumes are boiled together, they complement each other on the amino acids that one does not have is complemented by the other. The amino acid that is not available in, um, in the legume is provided by the grain which is maize in this place and the amino acid which is not in the maize is provided by the legume in this case is the pigeon paste so we are going to fry we are going to fry the the greens together first of all you start by frying the greens in the oil and we know that the green green leaves are most always belong to the class of herbs it's only that the category of the herbs depends on the on the quality on the on the flavors on the flavors of uh, of that particular herb and the stinging nettle and amaranth also belongs to the class of of herbs and when they are fried together uh, with oil or salted together in oil they give us a very very special very 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 special natural flavor that doesn't require a lot of spicing because they themselves they are herbs in their own right so here like i've shown here we have uh, amaranth leaves that have been cut cleaned and cut into small pieces here we have stinging nettle stinging nettle may be a bit difficult to handle but uh, we usually handle it by using gloves um, and gloves uh, that latex gloves which uh, which will protect uh, the skin from being stinged by the stinging nettle here we have a chop of uh, dania dania we have a uh, uh, chopped dania or, or coriander coriander and uh, here we have uh, a bowl of chopped uh, greens of the spring onion that's a spring onion the greens of the spring onion here we have 
the stems the stems of the green onion we also add the stems of the green onion here we have uh, uh, three uh, chopped uh, large tomatoes here we have um, peeled and uh, cubed uh, uh, pumpkin pumpkin in this case the purpose of the pumpkin is to give a bit of uh, starchy content and also some a bit of sweetness and here we have a bowl of mixed uh, red and green capsicum uh, here we have a bowl of of uh, red onions purple onions for frying the for, for frying the greens and here we have uh, the yellow is um, the yellow is um, is a curry powder curry powder you know is uh, like a masala because it's a mixture of, uh, of, 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 of spices and a, and a bit of salt. We will start the cooking process. I've already uh, poured some oil in this uh, stainless steel pot and the oil is already very hot. And now I'll add the chopped, uh, the chopped purple onions. You allow the onions to cook a bit. You allow the onions to cook a bit in the oil. It's called the salting, salting on the, the the onions in the oil, or just frying, simply frying in the oil. You leave it uh, to cook a bit in the oil, because when the, it cooks a bit in the oil, it releases a lot of flavors into the into the oil. I've added there quite a significant amount of oil in the cooking of this dish because mainly we are dealing with, uh, with the green leaves, we are dealing with green leaves and also we are dealing with beans and, and maize and so this one gives it a good foundation to facilitate uh, the leaves, the leaves uh, cooking, cooking properly because leaves, uh, these leaves uh, cook best and give best flavor when they are when they are cooked when they are cooked and fried in in shallow oil so that you allow a higher level of heat when you use oil in the heating you provide greater heat because the oil takes in more heat than water and so then the green the green the green herb or the green leaves uh, or the green vegetables, they cook at a relatively higher temperature. We are not going to allow the onions to cook so much. It has cooked enough. And remember that we should not uh, allow the onion to brown. The onion should not be allowed to brown, nor should it be allow allowed anymore to, to become black or to be blackened. Because the browning of the onion, the browning process uh, creates another product that is not quite healthy for our bodies. Uh, I've not really specified uh, the measurement, but uh, one can always. Um, we have not really specified the measurement because these leaves, as much as they may look quite voluminous. When you have cut them out, they are full of water. Almost 90% or 85% of, of this leaf is water. At the minute you heat it at high, at, at, uh, heat it for a while, they all shrink and, uh, and they lose all that, uh, all that volume. And one can always uh, uh, estimate depending on how much uh, Greens one uh, may, may want the egg product to have, uh, depending on uh, one's choice. 
if you want a lot of greens it is well and good if you want uh, less greens one can always make uh, that selection that's the stinging nettle i'm going to add um, the the terere and we are going to allow that uh, to heat up we are going to allow it to heat up so that uh, uh, it uh, can shrink and we can continue with the process you see at the end of it it will really shrink almost uh, to a third of that i'm going to review uh, the greens to see how far they have gone i have given them about uh, four minutes just about four minutes you can see how the greens uh, that were full in the sophuria how they really shrunk and they really continue shrinking a little bit more and what you happen is that you are going to allow the greens to cook before adding any other of the ingredients i will give the greens some time to cook at times the greens are a bit hard they are a bit hard so because of um, uh, the cellulose because of the cellulose that surrounds the the cell walls of the leaves and so um, the green leaves at times take a little bit longer and they require to be heated at a high temperature also to help fix uh, the green coloration let us review the, the vegetables. You can see the greens have really shrunk now. The greens have really, really shrunk after heating for about uh, five minutes, five minutes or so. I'm going to allow the greens, I'm going to allow the greens to cook a little bit more in the heat so that they can develop the flavors. The greens will develop the flavors better when they cook a little bit longer on their own without being mixed with anything else. Because like we said, the greens are in themselves herbs because they are green leaves and green leaves are herbs. And they have their own special flavors that usually develop better when they are heated on whether they are cooked or with, with, with oil. You find that if you are to boil your greens, they will give you a completely different flavor and you may not necessarily like, like the flavor. Now we want uh, them to give us their, their herbal character. We want the greens to release their herbal character in this dish of a mixture of githeri and the traditional greens. I have allowed the greens to cook on themselves long enough and you can see the amount of greens that we have in that uh, cooking pot is now almost a third this, this, the volume of what, uh, of what we added there. Although they seem like it's too much greens, there's a lot of green leaves, it, you can already see that it is really It's already shrunk to a third of what you had put there. I'm happy with the development of the flavor and these greens are almost uh, cooked in themselves. But uh, now we are going to add the, we are going to go to the next phase of adding the other ingredients. We are going to add the dania. We have add the dania this time. We are also going to add the, tomatoes at this time and again also add the pumpkins at this time so that um, they can cook we want um, we want the tomatoes uh, cooked completely we want the we want the pumpkin cubes cooked completely so that they can provide the matrix 
you see the green leaves on themselves they have got no thickness on themselves green leaves are just what they are they are just leaves and they don't have uh, content on themselves um, uh, that is uh, substantial as is touchy uh, matrix that can hold other ingredients and that's why I've added the the pumpkins and we added the with the tomatoes and the pumpkins you we'll get a bit of a thicker matrix that is able to hold the rest the rest of the content that you enable us to mix the rest of the content correctly I will also add the curry powder I've added a bit of uh, black pepper and salt at this time too and uh, we will give them time to cook. We will give it time. Let's give it about 10 minutes uh, for these vegetables uh, to advance in the cooking process. Our dish is cooking very, very, very well. And I have um, tasted the greens and I can see the greens are become very soft and very 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 tasty become very very tasty there is a breading of flavors as i've added um, uh, the the tomatoes and the and the pumpkin that is blending of flavors and the dish is coming out very well and very 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 flavorful the, the greens are becoming quite soft, they are cooking well, and the, the addition of the, of the tomato and the pumpkin uh, is enhancing, enhancing the cooking process and also breading the flavors in a very, very special way. We are going to allow them to cook a little bit more, about uh, 10 minutes, so that we can add the spring, the spring onions and the cups come. We will add our githeri towards the end because the githeri is uh, pre-cooked. It has been pre-cooked and has been frozen. So we don't want to add it too early and because we don't want to break the pigeon piece. We want the pigeon piece uh, to come out uh, still whole and standing. So we will give this a few more minutes to end to allow the pumpkins to cook a little bit more so that they can start uh, releasing their flavors and its content to improve on the, on the matrix uh, of this dish. I've added another ingredient here. These are chopped uh, leaves of garlic. We usually get our garlic from the market as a whole bulb with the several cloves. And so if you pluck out the cloves and put them in some fertile soil, uh, which is a bit damp, the cloves will shoot, you start germinating, you start shooting uh, uh, the, the, the shoot of leaves just like the spring onions. So this is such a shoot from the garlic cloves. Um, the pumpkins are now cooked. They are just about to break now because pumpkins cook so, so, so fast. They cook so quickly. You can very, very easily steam them with the steamable vegetables. And they will provide uh, good nutrients to a, veget um, a, veget a vegetable brand. We are going to add our last veggies, capsicum. We add the spring garlic, the spring on the leaves of the spring onion, and then we add the the stems of the spring onion. Again. We will give them time. We will give them time to bread their flavors, to bread their flavors together with our greens, with our traditional greens. 
and then after this we'll be able to add our githeri when they are ready and cooked you will now be able to add my githeri into this mixture this is a very very special dish very 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 rich in phytonutrients clearly you can see a product a food like this one or vegetable preparation like this one is just like a medicinal preparation it's just like a medicinal preparation and it is very very healthy very 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 healthy it goes to improve the wellness of the cells because it provides a broad range of antioxidants a broad range of phytochemicals that go to protect our cells Our food preparation of vegetables of uh, traditional greens uh, mixed with uh, pumpkins and tomatoes and uh, capsicums and curry powder is progressing very 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 well and you can see the attractive mixture of our uh, beautiful vegetables which are quite quite rich with the special nutrients they have vitamins they have minerals, they have very, very important um, uh, ingredients, uh, nutrients called phytochemicals, which are really very, very helpful in protecting our cells and also the DNA. You see that the cooking process, the cooking process is a, like, it's an, it's a work of art, it's like painting applying various colors various colors in a painting and so if you put all these ingredients together if we put all these ingredients together at a go be sure they will not give you a flavorful outcome but when you add them like we have i have we have seen us demonstrate here your add resort is so flavorful it's such a beautiful and very very flavorful sauce uh, our cups come and the onions at least now we can say they have been heated enough and at this point we are going to add some water we are going to some add some preheated water uh, so that uh, we can then add our githeri in this mixture the water will help us mix uh, the githeri together with now the nicely flavored uh, greens. You see that the greens are still showing our beautiful green and it's because they continue cooking at a very high temperature. They continue cooking at a very high, high temperature uh, to facilitate the, uh, the retaining of the, of the chlorophyll uh, green color. I'm just going to add a little water water to help uh, loosen up and mix the ingredients the last our last ingredients we are now going to add our last ingredient it is still very cold very cold uh, because uh, it was pre boiled and frozen So you add just a little bit more water here, pre-boiled hot water to facilitate the cooking, to facilitate, to facilitate the heating up, the heating up of our githeri with the green. Like we said, the agikoyo's traditional food is uh, maize and beans. Maize and beans uh, for uh, forms the backbone of the traditional food but uh, these maize and beans was uh, always made as a mashed food with uh, green bananas and potatoes and uh, and greens like stinging nettle pumpkin leaves and many other type of uh, greens and uh, that food 
was, was cooked together, the, the ingredients were breaded together in the cooking process, and they provided a well-breaded food that we call irio. Our breaded meal has come out very, very, very well. Now it is almost ready. And uh, to it, I'm going to add a suspension of two and a half spoonfuls of cornstarch to develop the texture, to develop the texture uh, of the matrix. So this is a Two and a half spoonfuls suspension of cornstarch. Cornstarch uh, creates a colloid when it is heated and uh, it is going to develop the texture, the texture of, uh, of this sauce. So this you see at the end of it is a sauce of a mixture of uh, traditional grains with githeri, but uh, with the flavors and nutritive content enhanced with all the ingredients that we have seen added to it. It has come out uh, very, very, very well, and it is smooth, smooth. Uh, the flavors are nicely blended, and the texture is also coming out beautifully. Our dish we have developed it into a sauce with the help of the cornstarch it has developed nicely into a nice very 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 nutritious sauce and one can use this sauce with with chapati one can use it with chapati one can use it uh, with, with with rice with uh, roasted uh, potatoes or fried potatoes this uh, sauce can be used uh, with anything it is already rich in uh, traditional greens and a variety of herbs and, and spices it has this uh, carbohydrates and it's got its protein you see that uh, the combination of maize and beans or pigeon peas together complete the amino acid requirements for the body to provide the amino acids uh, which uh, are required to to create or to develop or to make the non-essential amino acids it is complete and so this is a is a complete meal especially for the weight washers for the weight washers this is a, a very uh, healthful meal it's complete it is uh, low in calories now we can see that our meal is ready. Our traditional greens blend with the githeri is complete. And this uh, dish is smooth, is smooth, is so flavorful, it's just uh, uh, lovely, it is very nutritious and it's very, very appetizing. In fact, because of its nutrient content, uh, it helps uh, the body glittery in uh, fighting the cravings, cravings that come in the body and the cells because of high consumption of carbohydrate diet. This kind of source used often will help heal the body of all these uh, biochemical cravings of sugar, of cakes, of mandazis, of biscuits, of chocolates. It is it's a healing product. This is a healing sauce, it's a healing recipe. And uh, I would encourage you to try it. I would encourage you to try it. 
yeah this is our sauce i've already served it in this uh, soup bowl uh, so that we can see it uh, closer and uh, you can see at cross ridge what a beautiful 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 uh, meal it has come out to it is a very colorful very very colorful and very delicious sauce and uh, this is a a very good uh, way of preparing and using and using the traditional greens especially the traditional greens that are easy easy to cook they are traditional greens that take so long as I like sageti like sageti and could uh, some of these things uh, and and the uh, kale they are very at times hard to fry together but uh, amaranth leaves amaranth leaves fries very very quickly amaranth leaves and uh, a stinging nettle when stinging nettle is young it cooks very 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 easily and uh, i would encourage you to try it and make this uh, a consistent way of preparing your sauce so that uh, you can add this to the variety of your sauces for for um, uh, for breading from the breading other food items like homeo chapatis roti uh, uh, couscous uh, biryani biryani ugari um uh, roasted potatoes and all these other ingredients all these other starches that we make in our foods this is a very i have found it to be a very special sauce i have just uh, improved on it from the traditional recipe i've just uh, improved on it by adding all those special ingredients that i have added i thank you so much Thank you so much for participating with me, looking up into this channel of In Search for Wellness. And please, uh, I request you to leave a comment. If you try this recipe, let us see how you have improved on it. You can nearly add so many things and improve on it according to your own flavor, according to your own taste, according to how you want it to look like just uh, share with us uh, on your improvements thank you so much goodbye